All right, guys, so we're gonna be throwing this on the car. It's gonna go right here. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be installing the Cobb AOS with my friend here, JC. His Instagram is Corn on the Cob WRX. Make sure to go ahead, check him out, follow him. He has, what's the, what's the time on your, your uh, WRX event? Best time at the moment is 11 uh, 1. 11 so 1. Yeah? And you have that clip on your Instagram? Somewhere on my Instagram. Somewhere on his Instagram. If you guys want to check that out, make sure to go on his Instagram page. He's always at the track. He works here at Rexperts. They were kind enough to let us do the install here. Definitely recommend going to them. They have a lot of knowledge. I mean, they're WR experts. Where else would you go? So let's go ahead and jump right into the install. I, I don't understand this clip. <laughs> so look, all you had to do was push this clip and we'll just pull it from the sensor. This, this step's pretty easy. You just click this button right here very gently, and then it should just pop right off. <laughs> so it'll be these three bolts. One, two, three, and you'll pull the bracket off. Under the bracket, it's this one that's under the bracket. You get your fingers in there, you can pull it off. You don't need to record it, so I take it off. <laughs> like start it when I take it off, and then we'll just say what I did because I don't know when it's coming off. All right, next, you'll be removing this hose right here. You're gonna be pulling it off, and it comes right out. All right, next, we're gonna be removing four bolts from the throttle body. And then we're gonna go ahead and take the throttle body off. All right, next we're removing this hose right here. You already took this off. Um, you take that clamp off, which I already loosened and took off, and then All right. pop that hose right off. Next we're removing this clip right here. Yank it off. I love how everything is just do this. Main harness. Very important. Alright, you'll be removing this bolt from right here to release the harness and take this bracket off. All right, so we're gonna be removing this piece inside here. And we're gonna be using this. All right, we're gonna be putting it in here. Put that one on that one. So we're gonna be eliminating these, so we're just gonna tape it off and wrap it around. You're not supposed to? No, you pull that shit. No. Yeah, and then it tightens it. Dr. J, right now? Precision. This precision cut here, you gotta be very careful. You don't wanna cut any wires. I'm scared. Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Darling, you. Now we get to the fun part, the AOS. So we're gonna be taking this hose here, putting it right in here. Yeah, yeah. Woo! It's like a helicopter. Side wrench. 
7 8 You're gonna be using a 7 8 You're gonna be using a 7 8 wrench. Nice and snug, like a bug in a rug. All right, next we're gonna be. Are you recording? Next we're gonna be re recording. Next we're gonna be taking off this piece here, so it's easier to tighten this uh, when we put on this hose over here, so we're not hitting the paint or anything. What do you think's in there? A little leprechaun. <laughs> a little mouse. <laughs> What the? That looks nice. Oh, you send me, darling. You send me. Darling. All right, so we went ahead, mounted these two bolts right here. All right, so we're gonna take this clip off of here, disconnect that, this bracket that comes with it, plug in right here. Right there. Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Darling, you. All right, so next we plug the main harness back in. Right here, you pull this lever back and it'll lock. Just supposed to squirt out? You got no coolant. Huh? You got no coolant. What? You said she was supposed to squirt out? No, I said it might. Come oh. The little point of going down there was so you're gonna get pressurized and start pushing fluid. Oh, so. So it doesn't get what you're Fuck yeah. Alright. <laughs> threads to go and I'm moving like an inch of fucking <laughs> turn like and don't forget to tighten the bracket all right we're gonna tuck it in behind this line this line a little, a little tuckety tuck tuck we go behind the throttle body do I go under this hose tuck, tuckety, tuck, tuck, tuck. You just drop that on this side of it so you can oh, go under no. channel is called Project Subies. Because you were there, Alex. <laughs> Ooh. Juice. Oh, fuck. Which one? This one? I think it's this one, right, Alex? No. No. We're gonna be running this hose through this opening right here, and we'll be plugging it in right here. So we're gonna use a 5 8 tube, tube right, not pipe. So we're gonna use a 5 8 tube, use it on this 90 degree. We're gonna zip tie it. Next we're connecting this side. All right, you can use a little grease if it, make, uh, it can make it easier. So use a little grease, put that on. Next we're gonna be using this. We're gonna put this on here so it's easier. So once we attach this down there, 
it would be a pain to kind of try to wrap this around while it's already down there, so we're gonna leave that on there. Faces up. Go under it or over it? Do it this way. Leave this like this because you're going to have to use that a little bit. So hold like that. Pray that I'm about to, about to. So we put the intercooler back on. We're gonna start with that red coupling down there. And then uh, put this one in right here and tighten up the clamps. Next we're gonna be putting the two screws here on the bypass valve. All right, next we're gonna be putting on this bracket over here on the right side of the intercooler. done installing the AOS it was definitely a lot harder than I thought I don't know if unless you're experienced I recommend tackling it maybe but luckily I had an expert here giving us advice helping us do it I think without that it would have took us a few days um, if I didn't even I probably would have got frustrated honestly and just had someone do it once again thank you to corner on the cob WRX big help like I said check out his uh, Instagram a lot of cool stuff on his WRX. We got Alex, he doesn't have social media. He was a huge help today. He held the camera though, he has a WRX. We're never gonna work on his car again. Um, but yeah, also shout out to WR Experts for letting us use the shop. A lot of help, definitely check them out. Uh, leave their link in the description down below. And once again guys, if you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.